Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I love garlic bread and I love pizza like a lot of people do. And I thought, why not combine them together and make a garlic bread and pizza dip? And we did this fantastic recipe. It came out great. So I got to share this with you. So let me walk you through it. First off, what I've got is a tube of Pillsbury biscuits. And you know, you can make this from scratch, but I find this stuff so much easier. So we're just gonna peel this back, pop it open. I just love that pop. And you're gonna have about eight to 10 biscuits here. I'm gonna split these in half because they're just a little too big for the pan I'm using. Then just kind of roll them up into a ball. What I have is about an 8 to 10 inch cast iron pan, so I'm just going to spread them around evenly. Now, you can use any pan you like, as long as it's oven friendly. So let's make our dip. And what I have here is about 2 cups or about 600 grams of that ooey gooey yummy mozzarella. And I'm going to combine this with 150 grams or half a cup of ricotta. I suppose you can use cream cheese too. It will go nicely. All right, I'm going to grab up my cheese mixture and just kind of spread it around the pan. Pack it down a little bit so it's nice and even. It looks real pretty. Next up, take your pizza sauce. And you can make this from scratch, or you can use tomato sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you like. And you can use as much or as little as you, as you like, too, and just kind of spread this around evenly. I tend to use a lot of it simply because I just love pizza sauce. Look at that yumminess. Maybe a little bit more. All right, chop up some pepperoni. And you can use it whole, but I really like it chopped simply because it's dipping sauce and it, it dips a lot better when it's chopped. You don't have to use pepperoni, you can use ham, whatever kind of meat you like in your pizza. You wanna get a fairly even spread here. So because our bread is garlic based, we're gonna make a garlic spread. So I'm gonna combine Oh, I'd say about 60 grams or half a cup of melted butter with a teaspoon of minced garlic. And you can use fresh garlic, garlic powder, whatever you've got on hand. And a couple of really good pinches of dried parsley. You can use fresh too. And I say this is about a oh, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Grab up my spoon and then just give it a mix together. I like a little more parsley, so I'm going to add a touch more. It's about three pinches. Then simply brush the garlic spread over the biscuits. This smells so good. I should add, you might have a bit left over here, but you know, you can always make some garlic bread or something for spaghetti. Before we cook the dish, I'd like to extend an invitation to visit our social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll put a link in the description section below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell. That way, you'll never miss a video we release. And we're going to slip this into a 400 degree Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius preheated oven for about 18 to 20 minutes, just until it's brown nicely. Now I know there's a ton of stuff you can use for toppings, such as pineapple, olives, uh, green peppers, red bell peppers, whatever it might be. This is just the basics, just to get you started, and you can add whatever you like. But maybe you can tell us what you like. Drop us a line in the comments section below, and then we'll have a look at it. After about 20 minutes, this looks and smells incredibly delicious. Last but not least, this is completely optional, but I'm going to garnish this up with a little bit of Parmesan. And there you have it guys, our garlic bread pizza dip.
Okay, let's give this a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Just love it. It's so good. The ricotta combined with the mozzarella. The fluffiness of the bread. Just incredible. This is great. You're going to want to make this for sure. The full scoop on this recipe and many more fantastic recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com. You're going to spend lots of time over there and find lots of recipes. Thanks for subscribing and catch you next time.